The German short-haired pointer has been growing in popularity in recent years, and it's easy to see why. Their gorgeous ticked, patched, coat along with expressive almond eyes and big droopy ears make them adorable companions perhaps that's why they have a history of performing well as show dogs. This breed is also incredibly smart, loving, and playful, which all adds up to a great family pet. After reading such rave reviews, it's easy to assume that German short-haired pointer training is a piece of cake, but this isn't necessarily true. While they are indeed a highly intelligent dog, their cleverness can sometimes lead to stubbornness and a very independent animal that may not be the most obedient. But with patience and a steady training regimen, the breed has a good track record of being really trainable. Before we move on with this video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him, her. Link to the free, secret training technique, guide is in the description below. History as hunting dogs. As the name suggests, German short-haired pointers were bred to hunt and point out game, but careful attention was also given to create great companions. Breeders attempted to create a genetically superior dog, and many would tell you they succeeded. Several different breeds of dogs were used to create the GSP, including the German bird dog and several German bloodhounds as well as Spanish or English pointers. This created a remarkably versatile dog that excels on land or in the water and is a loving, attentive member of any family. Because of this breed's history as a hunting dog, the German short-haired pointer has a natural need to work, and will generally pick up quickly on commands. However, they can have some difficulty with household training. They have trouble focusing and will be easily distracted by any sight, sound, or smell happening around them. For this reason, our first tip is to make sure you limit the length of your training sessions. Keep German short-haired pointer training sessions short. One of the best dog training tips is to keep your lessons short and entertaining. Not only are GSPs easily distracted, they also can get bored pretty easily. In order to hold your pup's attention, you'll need to keep your training sessions short. No longer than 15 minutes is a good rule of thumb. This will help to prevent your dog from getting distracted or bored with training because if and when he does become distracted, it can be nearly impossible to regain his focus. Give your German short-haired pointer daily exercise. Your training efforts can be greatly improved if you give your German short-haired pointer proper exercise. The GSP has tons of energy to burn, and will require somewhere around an hour of intense exercise per day. This should involve running off the leash, whether it be playing fetch with a ball or frisbee, running around your local park, going for a hike, or swimming. On top of the exercise, the German short-haired pointer will also appreciate daily walks. How often should you walk your dog exactly? Well, professionals recommend twice a day for the German short-haired pointer to keep them in tip-top shape. Walks alone won't be enough. However, as these highly athletic dogs really need to stretch their legs and run hard. When he isn't able to burn off his energy through exercise, your GSP may, unfortunately, turn to some creative methods of release, which can often be less than ideal behaviors. German short-haired pointers have been known to be avid diggers in the yard if they are left to their own devices, and may also enjoy chewing things around the house. Once these behaviors have been established, they can be hard to kick. But as long as your dog is given enough strenuous activity, he typically will not become destructive. Tart your German short-haired pointer training early. To help establish good habits and behaviors, you should train your German short-haired pointer while he is still a puppy. In fact, start training a puppy as soon as you bring him home. While he won't gain full control of his brain until around age 2, he is capable of learning quickly even at a very early age. Waiting to train your GSP will only create a headstrong animal that may be difficult to deal with. Early socialization is also important. Along with training, you should also make sure to socialize a puppy right away. Socialization is a critical component of training your GSP to help him get comfortable with other people, animals, and new experiences. The German short-haired pointer has been known to be wary of other dogs and humans if they aren't properly socialized when they are young. 
This breed also may be nervous when placed in new situations if they are left alone at home. So as soon as your puppy is vaccinated, bring him around with you everywhere you go. Take your pup to the dog park to socialize him with other canines and meet other people. Bring your dog with you to friends and family gatherings and even out to restaurants if they will allow it. If you have other pets, get them familiar with each other right when you bring your German short-haired pointer home. This breed's hunting nature makes him want to chase small animals, so give proper attention if you have a cat, rabbit, or any other small, furry animal or bird in the house. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the Little Paws Training channel if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.